Thursdays at this time. We like to visit with our good friend Sherry Clark with Fork in the Road. And of course, next week, a lot of people are going to be traveling, either Tons traveling by air, travel. maybe by road, because gas prices down. You know, a lot of people right. traveling on the roadways. But, you know, you're going to be away from your home. You're going to be away from your somewhat healthy eating habits and styles. And we're here to give us some pointers on things we can do in case we're going out of town to stay somewhat on the right track. But you're not going to make us drag like a big trunk <laughs> of goodies with us, are you? No, no, not at all. In fact, really what my main concern here is just keeping everybody healthy. It's not about ruining the vacation and, and trying to eat too many really good things. It's about staying the course enough that when you come back, you can jump right back into your normal life. Your okay. routine. Your routine. So the big thing for me, if you're traveling by car, it's, it's a lot easier because you can put a cooler in there and you can bring all kinds of things, which is really helpful. It's flying that's the challenge, particularly right. because there's so many rules and regulations. So I brought a few things for you to even try today that would be some really good options. I just flew, I took a trip last week and-, and these boy, are, are my arms tired. <laughs> ba -dum -ba -dum. Oh, it must be the comedy. Yeah, okay. the comedy section. Very good. I told you it was a combination. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's the animal part too. Yeah. Thanks. So what we do is, we, what I do is I take some things with me so that in case what, what happens is you get stuck in an airport or you get waylaid or you're just hungry and you get hangry and you want something to eat and right. you make bad decisions. So I, what I brought for you today are just a couple of good good little things. You've got some nut butter there. Jackie's got her walnut bun. Um, walnut Jason, yours butter, looks like almond. Which I've never had. The, the almond butter, yes, very nice. Lou, you've got um, pecan. pecan. I so, didn't know they had pecan butter. Pecan. Yeah, they do. So you can get li the little travel size packets are legal to take on the plane. Right. Really? They're so, the right size. Exactly. So what we do with that is if you bring along a, a whole b beautiful delicious apple, I cut them in little wedges for you, but you could just take a bite mm. off, squeeze the nut butter on there, and it's yummy. I'd love. Here's the thing. It's a it's whole food, it's healthy, lots of fiber in the apple, and the nut butter keeps you satisfied. Mm -hmm. So it'll it'll make it last a good long time. I like that. You could ramp that it up great. just a little bit more if you wanted. I've got some flaxseed that comes in a little plastic or a, a little pouch or packet, sprinkle that on the top, and there's a little bit more um, omega-3 action going on. Again, a little bit more fiber, more flavor, that type of thing. So, so if, there's lots of options. Wow. What I do when That's I'm really traveling good. is I. This is an insulated bag, and I'll put the apple and the nut butter and all those things so that it's easily contained. I put my luggage in the overhead bin, take this out, and then it's handy within reach and underneath my right. seat. I also carry with me because a lot of people are concerned about gluten and um, and making sure that they they want to have something that will keep them satisfied and full, but you don't want all the bread type of things. This is an example. These are paleo wraps they're made out of coconut what you could coconut, do coconut really coconut they're great what you can do with that is if you go into the, one of the bars or lounges or something in an airport and you get just little sliced up vegetables or an avocado or guacamole or hummus spread that on there roll it up then you've made your own sandwich it, it's inexpensive you don't have hmm. that big bread laden feeling right. that you have especially when you're flying exactly how about that and it's really easy to transport around so there's all kinds of things that you can keep in here. A lot of people will ca carry um, little bars, protein Those bars. Those Cliff Bars are good. I like the Cliff Bars, but there are some that I like better. The Cliff Bars are pretty high in sugar. This has got 21 grams. Oh, wow. This one has five. So, and there, it's smaller, but you can, if you ate two of these, you're still getting half the sugar. So my suggestion is if you're gonna be taking a bar with you on the plane, read the ingredient label and make sure that you know what you're getting. Don't assume that just because it's in the health food store that it's healthy. Mm -hmm. right. There's a whole wall of these kinds of things and you can pick one that makes sense to you. And some of them really are just candy bars that are rebranded re yes. and remarketed. And you yeah. know that when you look at the, sh the grams of sugar and yeah. so mm -hmm. forth. So get something that will keep you satisfied. Your beverage, it, oh. now you, a lot of times we get really we're worried about dehydrated or you want a meal replacement. I have three different examples of single serving bags. The one that you're having right now is the Sun Warrior chocolate. That's good because I am a Sun Warrior. Actually, I've had that before <laughs> and it's, it's really good. Is that it's, powder? It's a powder. That you mix with water. You can mix with water. What I did for you today was I mixed it up with a banana and I just put it in a blender with some water. And here's why I did that. You could 
could do that in an airport. A lot of times they'll sell bananas at the smoothie places, mm -hmm. or sometimes they'll have a you know the little lounge area if you have to go to the bar, and then they'll, right next door they'll sell some fresh fruit. If you give the bartender a banana and ask them to just blend it with water, you can pour that in a glass and stir it up with your powder. Hmm. Will and they that, do that for you? They'll do that for you. Typically, you smaller airports especially are it's a no brainer. The bigger airports. Really, you I might never get knew them. that. Mm -hmm. if, because you're buying the banana there. Right. Okay. You, if you you don't bring your own stuff, you're you're saying, I'll take a banana. Would you please blend it with water? I'll be and you gone. don't give them the powder yeah, to pass. put it in. You I just, didn't know that. Yeah, they'll they'll do it if you ask nice. Mm -hmm. So, or if you take Jackie or I. Yeah. Uh, that's true. <laughs> well, it's Jason one of those things. I don't know if you haven't flown know. recently. They they don't feed you anymore if you're right. used to getting fed. And if you do, they charge you a ridiculous amount uh -huh. of money for like what you're used to getting, which is like a nut pack or something. And like that. And it's usually so, crappy. And it's crappy. Or if you wait to get into the airport, which many of us do because we don't want to have the hassle of going through security, your options are horrible and really limited. expensive. Yep. So it's nice but to have some healthy options that make you feel good, you're flying, you're not hungry, you know. Mm -hmm. So hangry. this is great. Yes. Hangry. hangry. I love that word, hangry. The other thing about travel is we get sick. And yeah. what happens is it's a disruption of our routine. Our sleep is interrupted. The things that we're eating are a little bit more sugar, a little less uh, controlled meal time. Portions are out of whack. So one of the things, the most important thing is obviously going to be get some sleep. So one of the things I travel with, this is a brand new Let's sleep mat. I thought you might want that. I was going to say, you think this <laughs> is going to help you sleep? make my face too hot. But that's a nice one. It's terry cloth. <laughs> you need to make Put it, it a little on, bit see bigger. If it works. Oh. And you can take the tag off. I think I just bought it. But that will help with sleep. The other thing that helps with sleep is uh, a tea, like this one. This is a valerian tea. You can 99. take that along. Okay. Valerian helping you, you need get to make to it your bigger. restful state. Yep. Mm -hmm. All kinds of teas for things we've talked about smooth move before. That helps with regularity. It's my favorite product name, by the way. Uh, isn't it? It fits. Smooth move. This one is another nice tea. It's uh, breathe deep, and it's for uh, respiratory, because a lot of times we have issues with breathing on the plane. So what's in that one? Then? This one's got economic. Oh, it does. Um, it's got a little bit of um, eucalyptus, so it's got it's Open really up. Yeah, okay. yep. It's really nice. It's it's not it's not unlike throat coat, <laughs> you, which it. you're familiar with. <laughs> okay, let's talk about other. You know, this makes the show a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> People at home should try it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about other things with that you might want to have with you if you're going to high altitude. The big thing is about breathing and oxygen. This is a great supplement, chloroxygen. It's actually oxygen in a tablet. They're they're bright green and you take them and they if you take them a day or two before you leave and then take them while you're there it really does help with the acclimation to high altitudes really? huh. highly recommend wow. two yeah, thumbs up for a couple more things here we got to go okay. okay probiotics this is really good for keeping your digestive and digestion Ooh. in track nice. I love things like cold snap if you start to feel like you're coming down with a cold you usually know you've got a tickle zinc would zinc be another right. good one huge. Yep. Um, really quickly, if you are have anxiety about flying, Rescue Remedy is a really good aid. It's, it brings down your anxiety a notch. Really? And there's even a version for pets that I give to Lotus if Lotus is traveling and seems a little stressed out. And then a really huh. important one, because it is holidays and because we're going to be partying, let's try Party Smart. Anytime taken anytime during alcohol ingestion will help with the side effects that occur the next day. Another option would certainly be to just have one less than you really want to have. Mm -hmm. But this is an option. So there wow. you go. A lot of great ideas. Stay healthy. The Thank other you very one much. one more thing. When we're traveling, let's pay attention to each other. Instead of being online all the time, what if we played real games, took cards, and actually interacted, interacted? with our okay. <laughs> with our family? Do numbers. something unusual this holiday season. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. You're yeah, welcome. Have a good Thanksgiving next week. Thank you. We'll okay. do. Wonderful.